Hi, my name is Chris Pavelski and I'm a fourth generation family farmer from the historic black dirt onion growing region of Orange County, New York, which is about an hour north of New York City. And as you can see from what's in the bags here and in the boxes, I grow onions. My father and brother and I actually farm together and we grow about 100 acres of onions, long-term storage onions with full flavor. I grew up on the farm, was raised on it, and then I left it for a period of time to go to college, to graduate school, where I got my degree in broadcasting and film studies, my master's degree. Came back to the farm in the early 90s, started farming again, and then suffered a series of weather disasters over the years. I had a lot of interesting experiences, and what I've done is, I've written a memoir about my experiences, both farming, what's involved being a farmer, and some public policy work I've done. Now, there's books out there about farming, uh, a lot of them are written by chefs and food critics, not farmers. Or it's, some of them are written by people who uh, were in a, in a city in a city job and decided to move the country and raise chickens. My book is about what's involved in the actual production on a small family farm and commercial production. It kind of explains what we go through uh, during a season in a growing year at a farm. And again, as I mentioned, it deals with a lot of the public policy stuff that I've dealt with. Let me show you something in our office. This is our farm office. In our barn, and this picture, my, my great grandfather came over from Poland in the turn of the last century and bought a pre existing dairy farm. And this picture was taken in 1954. It's kind of odd to have an aerial photo from that period, but the, the farm actually dated this back to the Civil War. And it was a pre existing dairy farm that he converted to a vegetable farm uh, with some cows and chickens. And then eventually, my grandfather converted to purely a vegetable farm. And my dad to an onion farm, and that's what it is today. And these pictures represent how the farm has changed over the years, the 1970s, the 1990s, when we moved back, this is about a couple years after we moved back, um, and then in the 2000s, and I say we moved back, my wife actually, I met at grad school at the University of Iowa, she's from Wisconsin, so this farming stuff is totally new to her. Um, as my professor in college, Bob Thompson said, she introduced an entire new set of genes to the gene pool down here, but that's another story. But as I mentioned, um, I've worked on a lot of public policy issues over the years involving uh, vegetable farms and fruit farms and specialty crops um, and a number of different issues. And this picture, which is seen on my Kickstarter page, um, reflects some of the people that I've worked with over the years, some of the elected officials and media uh, types. And a lot of the links for this is in, on my Kickstarter page, you can see. And had a number of interesting, um, fascinating experiences and worked on a number of things and kind of um, my memoir details that. It, it's kind of an insider story of what's involved as far as working on public policy and working on public policy issues. Uh, now, as I mentioned, I've written this memoir. It's about 108,000 words, and I'm a very good first draft writer. Uh, and I've written a lot of stuff over the last few years, but I'm, as Clint Eastwood says, the magnum force, the Dirty Harry movie, a good man always knows his limitations, and mine is I'm not a very good editor. And I had a friend, a neighbor, a good friend, who did a nice job uh, doing a first crack at it, but it kind of needs another editor to go through, someone who's actually worked with authors and publishing companies. And I've actually gotten in contact with someone who's taken a look at it and is very willing and eager. Uh, she thinks it's a, it's a very fascinating and interesting piece of work with a great potential, and she's in, very interested in doing it, but her fee's going to be around $5,000. As you read the links on my page, you'll see that we've suffered a number of weather disasters over the years that have put me very deep in debt to the USDA, and I simply do not have $5,000 to pay an editor. Now, I've sent out query emails to a number of publishers and, and agents over the last few months, and I've gotten a very favorable response rate, but what's been hurting me is the fact that my work is not polished, and it needs a little bit more um, focus and direction, and, it's, and it, needs, it needs to be frank, it needs a decent edit. So that's where you come in with this Kickstarter campaign. If you support my work, um, I have a lot of great re rewards, as you can see uh, from the page, but you're, you're supporting an idea, you're supporting a concept, you're supporting uh, family farms. Because what I do, is, and the, and the purpose of what I've written, is to really explain our story to people, because people are so disconnected from agriculture. There's only two million farmers in this country, and odds are you most likely have never even met a farmer. If you had, it's for a very short time at a farmer's market. My work kind of explains what's involved a farm, but it also talks about what's involved on a grassroots level to make affect positive change in public policy terms. And the things I talk about you can apply not just to I do on the congressional level mainly, 
but you can apply to any issue that you're dealing with on a local level. And that's what's neat about my book too. It's kind of a roadmap discussing how to go about making those changes. So I humbly request that you please support my project and help me out. And maybe one day uh, we can meet and uh, you can come visit the farm or you can pick up a copy of my book. Thanks.